Hello, I'm David Wormsey and at the moment I'm working on a website. We were using uh, Dynamic Website Builder and Beaver Builder together where I needed a, a transparent header. So transparent header, if you don't know, is that uh, effect where you have the header transparently showing over a background image like here. Now, in my uh, particular example here, I don't have a logo or anything other than just um, the navigation here. But uh, uh, I, I needed to do this with Dynamic and Beaver Builder. Now, there are some uh, tutorials out there if you have a different setup. So if you're using the Beaver Builder theme with Beaver Builder, there's this great uh, tutorial here by Grant Ambrose, which shows you exactly how to do that. And if you're just using Dynamic Website Builder, there's a really helpful person in the community there called Sigur on the forum. I think her real name is Sylvia Gamsjäger, if I'm saying that correctly. And she has a free uh, downloadable skin that you can use, uh, which creates the same effect here. I think, although I might be wrong, that she's using a Genesis widget area to, uh, to, to make this effect. And that wasn't what I was wanting. So I had to come up with my own solution. And it's a really, really simple solution. I'm not saying it's the best one. And I'd love to hear if somebody's got something more elegant. Uh, but here it is. I'm just going to pop over to my CSS editor, which is Stylizer. And here's the rule that does it. It's just a uh, site inner. So on Dynamic, um, and this won't be true of other Genesis themes, uh, everything is contained within the site inner. So what we needed to do was to move the, the, the content up on that page. Uh, up underneath the header here. So that's all that's happening here. As you can see, I've also got a class of home because I only want uh, this effect on my home page. So I'm using dot home. If I wanted it on all pages, I would just remove that. So all I needed to do was to put a negative margin top of 140 pixels. So I'll just show you how I came up with that 140. I, I course I could have done it manually and just guessed it, but I'll just show you where that comes from. So if we pop over to the WordPress backend and go to dynamic design options, pop over to the header section. And down here, as you can see, that's the title area if we're using a image, which I am in our case. And so the header uh, height is 100. But on top of that, I'm also set in the logo, which I haven't shown you, but it is there, uh, a top margin of 40. So I just put those two together. Let's just pop back over to Stylizer. And if I just disable this rule, you can see that the, the logo is showing here. Now, in your case, um, it, it just happened to be the, the fact that Dynamic had already set it up in the way I wanted. Uh, this is a, a background logo. So it actually got put underneath this other background here uh, because there's no index set on it. There's no Z index set on it. To show it but actually when it came to the uh, navigation it already had uh, some kind of rule that must be set in a z index and, and so showing it above the background image here but let's say that you do want to create this effect what you'd need to do is to um, i'm going to use stylizer to just find what the rules are that are affecting that and we can find that in the dynamic style sheet here now actually this is a long set of rules which is applying uh, in case you're using text rather than image. But I'm just, for the moment here, I probably don't need all this, but I'm just going to copy the whole thing and move this over to uh, my own style sheet, which is in my dynamic skin. That's how I work. I work with a dynamic skin and change directly uh, all my rules there rather than use it in the back end of, of uh, dynamic. Of course, if you wanted to do this, you could do it in dynamic. You could just do it by going over to the custom uh, dynamic area and uh, directly inputting that CSS here but it's just the way that I prefer to do things so let's just pop back um, and I shall insert below these rules um, I'm not in this going to work out which ones I need on this because it, it, it would be useful whatever um, and all I need to do then is as it's background image I need to make sure that I put in a position of relative just to make sure that it shows and that the Z index works. And let's just so you can see the effect working. I will just, whoops, come here. Huh. 
having one of those days okay oops there we are okay so let's pop that back and this so now if i now go back and pop in the z index rule i think i just need to put any number in there just to make it pop over the top yep that's it so a z index of one just make sure that this background image goes over the other background image so you can see it okay so i, I think that pretty much covers it uh, uh thanks for listening and if you've got any better suggestions or in fact some requests to do some more of these videos then i'd love to hear them okay thanks a lot bye